Hey everyone, I'm Megan Sullivan and welcome to this first impressions video of Ease 9 Monstrum Nox coming to PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So yesterday I played the Ease 9 demo on PlayStation 4. I fiddled with the controls, the camera, the difficulty setting, and various character skills. My conclusion? It's just fine. Well, first off, it's really short. You only have 10 minutes and exactly 10 minutes to explore one of the two areas in the demo and that's it. No story, no character introduction, no explanation of where you are or where you're going. Just a quick tutorial about how the game controls work and off you go, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The gameplay mechanics should be the star of the show and they're fine. The problem is they're not at all novel, even if technically they might be new to the E series itself, making me wonder how E's 9 is different from, I don't know, like a billion other games out there. For example, the parkouring feature known as Heaven's Run, where you race up walls to get to new areas of treasure chests, it's fun, it really is, but I've been there and I've done that. And the ability to teleport or glide over cliffs to get to the other side, again, fun, but hardly groundbreaking. And although I appreciate that each character in your party has special combat skills that allow them to distinguish themselves in battle, for example, one character specializes in devastating close quarter combat, while another specializes in area of effect spells, etc, etc, I'm struggling to think how any of this is groundbreaking, which makes this demo fine. Not great, not bad, just fine. And maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe Ease is just committed to the whole button smashy smashy thing, and that is completely fine. However, this mediocrity also extends to the visuals and sound. Obviously, Ease does not have the blockbuster budget of Final Fantasy, but it's still a little disappointing that the polygons look a little jagged and the textures look pretty basic. The music is also fine, kind of catchy, but I'm not sure the soundtrack is going to end up on my playlist anytime soon. Prove me wrong, Ease. Prove me wrong. In short, I feel like this demo could have benefited from a proper introduction to the story and characters, because without that the game feels okay I guess? I mean it's fine. It just feels like it's lacking something. At any rate, since the demo is free and only 10 minutes long, I encourage JRPG fans to try it out and form their own opinion. Then come back here and tell me your thoughts. I want to know, do you think the game is boring, is it fun comfort food, or is it ingenious and more intricate than I realize? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching guys, see you later!